Okay, at this point I just want to know whether I can speak at uh, a little bit of distance from uh, uh, the laptop and also whether uh, the remote control works fine and I also change something to be able to um, to have um, you know the presentation switching slides automatically rather than having me uh, having to press on a button to go from slide one to slide two etc. Okay, um, so after a brief introduction to the React IR technology that most of you know from the angle of using a probe in a vessel, we'll see how uh, the new development of React IR accessories and tools are essential in the development of flow chemistry and especially what the challenges of flow chemistry are and how they can be uh, efficiently addressed by the use of the React IR flow cell technology. Then I selected a, a few of the benefits of flow chemistry in general, efficiency in optimizing reactions, uh, the great use of safer reaction conditions or at least uh, you know safer experimental conditions for hazardous substances that sometimes chemists have to use. And the last example would be more on the scale-up side, how to use uh, React IR inflow to improve the quality of a uh, given chemical reaction and how to troubleshoot a process. So if you look at today's picture, uh, there is a, a clear mismatch or discrepancy between the way people run flow chemistry to get products out of the column in a continuous fashion but most of them still rely on offline sampling. So they do a sam sampling and they run to an offline analytical device, maybe chromatography in most cases. So, and, and even though most people still do that, if you think about it for a second, uh, it takes time because you have to take a sample, which might be very challenging, especially in flow. You have to uh, quench, uh, dilute, uh, prepare your vial, you have to run the analysis, then evaluate, interpret, and then you have to go back and maybe change conditions. And, and there is a cycle of time associated to this. So most of you probably know the React IR technology from the angle of using a probe in the vessel. Some of you are using test tubes, and that's fine, and some of you are using the IR, the manufacturing scale, in big plant vessel, and, and there are options for that too and it helps a lot, I, uh, this way helps a lot, especially when you run extreme conditions, temperature, pressure, you have hazardous substances in, in the vessel. It's a fantastic real-time, a little bit like molecular video, the breaking in and making of chemical bonds, because it's ATR based, uh, not transmission, uh, there is no effect or impact from bubbles, you can have slurries, you can have colored reaction which can be very dark and the IR probe will still accurately analyze what's going on in the vessel. Okay, and, and a lot of people I've seen lately uh, blossoming up in, in scientific papers those waterfall 3D plots where uh, that shows relative concentration against wave number and against time and it's a nice visual way of looking at the breaking and making of chemical bonds. So that's why some people call that a molecular video of uh, your reaction. 